Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the count of smaller numbers after self. You are given an integer array numbers, and you have to return a new count array. The count, uh, the count array has a property where count i is the number of smaller elements to the right of numbers i. Uh, see this example. If the input is five two six one, we will return two one one zero, because For the element five on its right, we have two one, which is smaller than itself. So we write two. When uh for the element two, we have one smaller than itself. So the count of the smaller numbers is one. So we write one here. For the six, we only have this one smaller than it. So we will write one. For one, we have no element on its right. So we will write zero. So how to solve this problem? Actually, we have several solutions for this problem,、uh, and I will use a divide and a conquer, and actually use the idea of the merge sort. Let's think how to use merge sort.、Uh, let's recall the merge sort. For a given unsorted array, we will first divide this array into two parts. And keep divided until the base case, the array itself is a number. Then, as the array only have one number, we know it is sorted. Then we merge two、uh, numbers into a sorted array, and then we、uh, keep merge two sorted array. And at the last, we sort,、uh, we merge these two.、Uh, Sorted array into a whole sorted array.、Uh, what does that mean? We will first divide this array into five to one. This is left part. Right part is three seven six. Then we divide this left part into left part to five two, and right part is one. Uh, and the one is already sorted. So we keep divide this five two into two parts five two. And now they are sorted, so we merge five two, and then we get two five. Then we merge two five and this one into a sorted array, the same to the right part. And finally, we merge this two part into a whole sorted array. So how to use this idea to get the solution of the count of smaller numbers after itself? We will actually just a little bit modification. Because we need to know each element and their index in the original array, so other than just use a number, we will use a new class that named item. Because we need to record their index. So for every item, we have the value, which is the number in the array and their according、uh, index or responding index. And we also use a right counter. Why? Because you see, if、uh, let's see, if this one is less than two, the right counter will plus one. That means there is one number、uh, smaller on it right. And for this five, we see we still add this one. Why? Because these two are sorted array. If one is less than two, that means one will less than all the elements after itself because they are sorted. So we should take use of this idea. Hmm. Okay. So let's uh go through this this example. We will now merge this five two. We use a low pointer start from five, and we use a high pointer start from two. Um. Then. Two is less than five, so right counter will increment by one. So that is one. Then we get the index of five, which is zero. So count zero will、um, plus this right counter. So now after this merge operation, the count array will becomes one zero 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 zero, and items will be two five because. We, Now we only sort these two elements. Other things stay the same. One, three, seven, six. 
、uh, the things in the parentheses are they are indexed in the original array. Then we merge one. Actually, this is the one element, so uh, that's done. Then now we need to merge these two five and this one. Low pointers start from one. <coughs> High pointers start from one. Um,、uh, sorry, low pointers start from two. High pointers start from one. And the、uh, uh, because one is less than two, so right the right counter will increment by one. That is one. Then we put one in the sorted array. Uh, you still remember that in the merge sort, we need an extra array to record the sorted array. Um, so we save that in the sorted array. Then we move the low, for low point forward, and that two. Then we get the index of the two. That is one in the original array. So that means we should add the, the right counter into the count array. So count one will. Uh, sum up this one. So now it's one. For the five, we also needed to sum up one. So count zero will become two. So after this merge operation, the count array will becomes two one zero zero zero, and the items will become one two five. So left part is sorted. Now we should do the merge sort on the right part. Uh, and the three seven is already sorted. So we will do nothing modification in the count array, and the six already sorted. So we also do not need to do any modification. Um, and then we need to merge these three, seven, six. Low point start from three. High point start from six. Three is less than six, so we put three in the sorted array, and then we move the low point forward. Now this seven is greater than six. So we we know the right counter should increment by one, and then we put a six here, and then we get the seven index, which is the four. So we should add one to the count four, so count four which is one now. After this operation, the count array becomes two one zero zero one two, and the items will become one two five. Three six seven. So now we need to do the last merge, merge the left part and the right part. One two five and three six seven. Uh, the same idea. Low point start from here. High point start from here. One is less than three, so we put one here, and we move this low point forward. Two is still less than three, so we put two here, and move low point forward. We get five. Now five is greater than three, so right counter should increment by one, and we put three here. And this six six is less、uh, is greater than five, so the count of five index should increment by one, which is the right counter. So increment uh, so then we move this um six forward, then we get the sorted array. So after this operation, we get the count array is three one zero zero one zero, and the items are sorted. So wrap up. First, we will use the idea of the merge sort, as we need to record the index. So we will use a new class. We name it item. We have the value and the index, and the merge work is done in the merge part. Uh, when the high Which is the items high point value is less than the items low point value. That means this high is less than all the elements after this low. Um. So we uh we know the right counter should increment by one, and for all the elements after this low pointer, we should also add up um this right counter. Other things are just like the merge sort. So now let's write the code. We will first write a class item, the value, the index, and write a simple constructor v and i, and the v will equal to v and in.、Mm, sorry, index will equal to i. Okay. So first get n, which is number star length. We'll write. Items. The size will be n. 
sorry, this should be items array, items, item, and, and for int i, i less than and i plus items, i will equal to new item. Put the value, there will be numbers i and then the index, which is i. So now we get items, we need a count array. The size will be n, and we um, just need to do the merge sort. We pass these items. The start index is 0, end index n minus 1, and we put this count array. And finally, we need to return this list, so result array list. So put every count in the count array, result at this C. So finally, we just return this result. So let's write the merge sort item, items, the low, the high, and the count. So the base case will be if the low greater or equal than high, we just return. Otherwise, we get the middle, which will be low plus uh, high minus low, divide 2. So we do the merge sort to the left part, items, low, middle, and the count. And we do the merge sort, items, middle, plus 1, high, and the count. Finally, we do the merge to the these two sorted array items. That will be low, and will be middle, and the high. Uh, sorry, that will be middle plus one. The end will be the high, and the count. Okay, now let's write the critical part. There is the merge item items. That will be low, and that will be low end. Uh, so there will be high, and there will be high end. This is a count array. Uh, as I said, we need uh, extra space to, so to solve the sorted items. So we get the M, which will be the high end minus low plus 1, because they are inclusive. So there will be M. And we also need an index to record the index in the sorted array, start from 0. We also need a lower pointer start from low, high pointer start from high. So uh, we also need a int re right counter start from zero. Okay. So while this low pointer less or equal than low end and high pointer less or equal than high end, if the you know if the numbers high pointer. This is the this is the item, so we get value less than items, low pointer. This also value right, less than it. So the right counter should increment by one, and we put that item into the sorted array. So index plus plus will equal to the items high pointer increment by one. Otherwise, we will let the count add this right counter. So uh, the index will be items, low pointer. This is item, get this index. Sum up this right counter. And uh, put that into the sorted array. Index plus plus will equal to items, low pointers plus plus. OK, so if uh, there is some low pointers left, low end, we we'll do the same thing. The count will add this items low pointer dot index increment by the right counter and the sorted index plus plus will equal to items low pointer if there is some high element left less than high end the sorted index will just be the items high pointer plus plus uh, finally, do a simple system array copy. Source array is this sorted. Start index is 0. Destination array is the items. Start index is low. And the length will be m. So 
should be okay. Um, line two. Um. Oh, sorry. This will be class. Um, merge all the items. Sorry, typo again. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.